everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. It's yet another gorgeously beautiful, beautiful day. It's not too hot and it's just amazing here um, on my deck. So I thought, you know what, mangoes are in season. I'm going to try and get as many mango recipes out there as I can. So today we're going to be doing a no-bake instant mango cheesecake. Now, that's not it. This is going to be the icing on the cake. It's going to have half the fat in it than a normal cheesecake or maybe even less than half. Of it. And I'll explain you why because we're going to do a couple little different things. If you want to go ahead and add the fattening stuff, you can. But um, this is something that I can indulge in and really not feel guilty because it, you know, it's way less calories and way less carbs than um, a regular cheesecake would be so let's get started. So I got here. We did um, about a 14 ounce package and then we did one 14 ounce package of Oreos and then we did another half so We did one and a half packages. So, you know one package had 14 ounces of Oreo cookies in there So what we did was you know the Oreos usually are like this right and it's got that white stuff in it well we went ahead and took out all the white stuff from it and that's going to eliminate a lot of our fat. What we did was we went ahead then and processed this so it looks like just crumbs. Um, and you can do that in a plastic bag. I threw it in a food processor easier, quickly, done. So, um, and then here I have two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And we're going to throw this in there and make the crust, it's the base of the crust. Of, um, now let's go ahead and review the cream um, ingredients here. I have a 16 ounce fat free sour cream. I have 8 ounce whipped topping which um, is also light. And then I have cream cheese here which is a third less fat and we're going to use two blocks of it. One block is eight ounces. So we're going to use 16 ounces of cream cheese. We're going to use 16 ounces of sour cream. And then as far as the topping or the Cool Whip is concerned, um, we're going to do the eight ounce. I'm going to see how it looks. Um, I want it really nice and fluffy and I feel like if I need to add more, we'll add more. So, and then I have here um, one whole mango that I um, took the skin off, threw it in my magic bullet and pureed it. Um, we're going to do, we're going to do just a little splash of lime in there. And we're going to try this video. We're going to try this cheesecake and see how it tastes. If I feel that we need a bit more sugar in it to sweeten it, we will add a little bit of, um, icing sugar or powdered sugar in there. But I didn't bring it out because I kind of want to stay away from it because our mangoes are quite sweet. But we'll see when we'll see in the end when we give it a taste test. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and just take out some of the crumbs. You know, about three tablespoons of the crumbs. And I'm going to put that, I'm going to put that aside. And we're going to use that for garnishing as well as the Oreos that I have here. So we'll set that aside. Okay. Then what we're going to do, and I have a spring form pan here, and this works really, really well because I can just throw the whole thing into the fridge. And we're going to let it sit for at least six hours before we take it out and cut it. So, um, in goes our butter. Okay, we're just going to mix that really well. Want to make sure that you distribute the butter everywhere. <coughs> okay, we're gonna go ahead put that into our spring form pan. do now is 
I'm going to take this little bowl here and I'm just going to press it. And this will really help. And I, and I don't want the edges to be even. I want them uneven. For my cough you know, I think that pollen is out and it just gives me that tickle in my throat <clears throat> okay all right so you see how we just just put everything in there and just kind of and this is gonna set nicely in our refrigerator so we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna start with our cream cheese <clears throat> and the cream cheese is really nice it's room temperature and that's the best thing that you could do is use um, room temperature um, cream cheese it's just gonna make things go really really quickly so not only is this instant when you make it but it's also instant as far as you don't have to bake it okay. now if you're using one of those um, I think they have the Oreo ready-made crusts if you want to go ahead and use that I use that all the time um, completely okay um, what you then want to do is you want to bring the quantity of the cream cheese and the sour cream down to only eight ounces per um, for the cheesecake. So you would use only one block of cream cheese and instead of the 16 ounces of sour cream, you'd only use eight. And then um, the eight ounces of Cool Whip would work just perfect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and splash just a little bit of lime on top of it. Not much. Okay. Go ahead and add our sour cream in there too. Okay, at this point, what we're going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to go ahead and just make sure that our filling is really nice and creamy by just mixing the cream cheese and the sour cream. See how it's because it was room temperature there's no ch uh, little chunks in it just really quick really easy really fast we'll go ahead and add our mango now if it's mangoes are not in season or if you can't get a hold of mangoes go ahead and um, use the mango puree and you can get that in any of the um, Indian Asian stores um, the other idea would be summer when when um, when mangoes are really in season and you find some really nice ripe mangoes that's the time you want to um, either make it into chunks put them into chunks put it in your freezer and then when you if you want to make this in the winter time when it's not available take the chunks out and puree it so you're actually using fresh stuff How beautiful the color looks and with the black you know the Oreos it just looks really really good so this time I'm quickly going to do a taste test and see if we need to add any more 
um, we don't, unfortunately we do. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go grab my um, powdered sugar. When we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to put it in here and then put it in the fridge for it to set. Got my um, powdered sugar or icing sugar and I'm not going to tell you, you know, how much to add in there. Uh, although I put a one fourth of a cup and another fourth of a cup. And basically, you know, we're going to start mixing it and we're going to keep on doing our taste test until um, I come with the taste that we like here at home. So it's not going to be very sweet. this time let's do a taste test and also we haven't added the cool whip yet you know what I think it's perfect I'm not gonna add any more powdered sugar in there um, because I think the whip topping has is sweetened too so go ahead add our cool whip in here okay and this point I'm not going to use the beater. I'm just going to fold that in. And I'm still going to do one more taste test because after adding the cold whip in there, I want to make sure that again, the taste is fine as far as how sweet it is. And I think I'm okay with using that one eight ounce container. I don't think we're going to need another one in here. Okay. Again, we're going to do a last taste test. It's okay for me, but I think everybody in the house will want it just a little bit more sweeter. got that done looks so good I'm so excited so excited for this okay go ahead and pour this in there I'm just going to straighten this out, just like so. Okay, pop this in the refrigerator about six hours. When we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this up and garnish it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this, and I don't feel like getting into it, but really it looks amazing. So let's go ahead. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so taste test. Look at that. Okay. Mmm. Amazing. It's got that really, really intense flavor of the mango, and then it's offsetting it with the Oreo cookies, and the Oreo cookies are still crunchy. It's just absolutely amazing. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if it's if you're making this on a really hot day, you don't go ahead and add one more um, box of cream cheese in there. That will even help it set even more. Um, mine has set really, really well, but we have, I mean, it's really, really hot here and humid. 
so it is melting on me a little bit so i think next time if the weather was like that if i were making this in the winter time i would stick with the recipe but if i were making it in the summertime i'd go ahead and add the three blocks of eight ounce cream cheese in there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope I can see you here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.